This video will present a neural image captioning model named Show, Attend, and Tell. This paper was uh, published in 2016 and co-authored by a famous professor, Yashua Bengio. This model is unlike other image captioning models because it integrates visual attention into the process of generating the word descriptions from visual features. So image captioning is this idea of taking an image and then producing a sentence that describes the image, such as in this example, a stop sign is on a road with a mountain in the background. This is really interesting because it goes past things like object detection where you would say there's a stop sign and it's exactly in this box or pixel maps even that would by like, color the stop sign in red, the sky in blue and the uh, mountains is like green or something with uh, you know labeling each pixel in the image. But this goes beyond that. This, this requires not just understanding the objects but also understanding the relationships between the objects and then the ability to compress complex visual information into a concise descriptive language. So image captioning is really interesting, but it's far from a solved problem in deep learning. This is one of the examples they present in their paper where the model describes this guy with the violin on his chin as a man wearing a hat and a hat on a skateboard. He's <laughs> wearing two hats. So one approach that's presented recently is scene graphs, and this is something that I think is pretty interesting where they uh, take these scenes and they, they explicitly model the relationships and images with these graphs where there are like noun objects connected by these verbs. I think it's an interesting idea, but it definitely hasn't seen as much adoption as this uh, show, attend, and tell model that's going to be described in this video. So another way of doing this, that this is a, a new Kaggle competition, the Google Open Images 2019 Visual Relationship Challenge where they put bounding boxes on things like man and then guitar and then a third bounding box which describes the relationship between objects. So you see this guy also, uh, guy, guitar, and then the uh, relationship bounding box. So show, attend, and tell is going to be uh, fully end-to-end -end depending on the, uh, well it is fully end-to-end -end, but it depends on the uh, whether you want to use a pre-trained CNN feature extractor which is going to be used in this paper and then the hard or soft attention mechanism, which will be described later in the presentation. So attention is a really interesting uh, new layer in deep learning. It first came out in a paper, Attention is All You Need, showing how effective it could be for neural machine translation. And it's been adopted into all sorts of things like uh, even ResNet's uh, self-attention GAN, and in this paper, using it for image captioning. So the first part of the uh, model is the CNN encoder. So the paper is going to use the VGG architecture, which was you know, on top of the state of the art in 2016. So it's going to take uh, 512 of these 14 by 14 feature maps. And this is different from uh, the image captioning models that became before this paper that use these uh, vectors that were at the end of fully connected layers of CNNs. So the visual features, there are 14 by 14 of these maps. They're going to be flattened out into each one is going to be 196, 14 times 14. So each feature map is going to make up a vector and it's going to be flattened out into this matrix. So in this matrix, each uh, this would be like A0, A1, A2. So AI in RD, this isn't really the right R term that they use, but it means that uh, each of these vectors has the dimensionality 196. So the attention is going to dynamically look at this uh, feature map, and it's going to like extract what's relevant for the uh, LSTM decoder at each uh, step of generating the description of the image. So as a reminder of the architecture overview, uh, this section right here is the convolutional feature extractor. And so these feature inputs are feature maps are going to be input to the RNN with attention as it produces the image caption that describes the image. So one other interesting thing, uh, following reading the paper, I looked into like an implementation of this in uh, PyTorch. So what this shows is uh, the author of the repository, uh, Aaron Wong, he shows how uh, a ResNet 152 outperforms uh, VGG 19 if you use it for extracting the features on the uh, show attend and tell uh, captioning model. So the next part of this model is how it generates the words, the LSTM with attention. This is probably the most interesting and important detail to take away from the paper. So. LSTMs have these uh, gates. They have an input modulator, an input gate, they have a hidden uh, cell state, a forget gate, and an output gate. So each of these gates are parameterized. These represent uh, like neural networks that take the input and then uh, modify them in some way before they reach the gate. So 
the Z prime uh, T is the context vector. The attention mechanism gives the LSTM this component. This is the only component that the uh, attention modifies of the LSTM. So then HT minus one uh, represents the last word predicted by the LSTM. So let's say it said uh, the stop, and then stop is the last word. So it's gonna take in stop and then use it to maybe predict sign. Uh, and then, uh, so the y t minus one is the uh, is like the uh, encoding. So the y is a word token, which is usually one hot encoded. So it would be like a vector where it's like zero 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 one, and then a ton more zeros. So e is an embedding matrix. So e has dimensionality m by k, and then it's multiplied by this k by one one hot vector, so that you uh, end up with a y that is. Uh, dense. It's not like 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. It's something like 0 0.18, 0 0.5, something like that, which is easier for these models to work with. So basically all that happens is that it uh, takes in the previous input, the previous, the previous output, and then the previous y output, the uh, context vector, and then it modifies the hidden state of the uh, LSTM, and then it outputs the next token. So this is how the context vector is produced. So what happens is the attention model takes in that A feature map that we described uh, here. This is the A. The attention is going to look at this and as well as the word that it was just predicted. So it would look at the feature maps and then it would look at, say, stop. And then it would produce this, uh, this alpha mask over the feature map that is then going to be used to like parse the uh, convolutional neural network features. So then the uh, predicting the next word in the caption is basically a combination of these terms, the embedded matrix of the Y term, the output, and then the context vector times these parameters. So another interesting thing with attention is the hard versus soft attention. So hard attention is where you define a multinomial, a multinomial uh, distribution over the uh, A's. So with hard attention, you don't, tra uh, you don't train it in the same way as you do backpropagation. You have to uh, like use the reinforce algorithm and use like a Monte Carlo sampling because what you're doing is you're sampling from a probability distribution. You're not just deterministically predicting an output. So uh, the hard attention would present like a distribution over the, over the feature maps in A. And the feature maps in A, they don't correspond to the rows and columns in the original image. They correspond to like features learned through like convolutional kernels, series of convolutional kernels optimized for the downstream, probably image net classification tasks that the VGG network was originally uh, designed for. So what, you, so what it would do is it would uh, sample probabilistically from one of the A vectors and use that as the attention context vector. But the soft attention, you can train this end-to-end uh, -end with backpropagation because Soft attention, it, uh, it just uh, produces a differentiable mask over the, a, the A's from the convolutional network. It doesn't sample one discrete uh, con uh, like feature vector from the A set. So one other clever training trick is that they uh, describe that when you're training these image captioning systems, uh, you have like your mini batch for stochastic gradient descent and if one caption is much longer than others, then the shorter captions are going to have to wait for it to be finished. So what they do is they construct a dictionary and then they batch together the caption images that have the same length to speed up training. So before presenting the results, uh, just a quick note on the blue score and what this is. It's a technique developed in 2002 to evaluate uh, neural machine translation systems. So it's basically like an n-gram n-gram evaluation system with uh, some reference sentences. So in the results, each of the data sets, uh, Flickr 8K, 30K, and MS Coco, they all have uh, five human annotated uh, captions for the images. And then, uh, so the blue score is basically a way of saying how well the uh, image caption aligns with the uh, reference captions. So these are the blue uh, scores from the, uh, both soft attention and hard attention are the show a 10 and tell model. And then these are some of the previously used techniques for image captioning. So across all of the uh, data sets, Flickr 8K, Flickr 30K, and Coco, the, uh, the show 10 and tell model performs uh, pretty significantly better. Maybe not so much over the log bilinear model in uh, Coco, but in Flickr 30K, 
Uh, I mean, generally though, it's pretty inconsistent, but it's still probably the uh, easiest model to implement. And then the model that has like the most hyperparameter tuning that would maybe push this even farther ahead. So thanks for watching this model on show, attend, and tell. Uh, a really interesting model for image captioning. Please subscribe to Henry AI Labs for more deep learning videos.